I studied for and passed my A plus 1101 and A plus 1102 exams with absolutely no IT experience in the span of about four to six weeks. I want to save you from making the same mistakes that I made while I was studying and hopefully stop you from wasting the same amount of time that I wasted so that you can make progress faster than I made it and get your new IT career started sooner rather than later. The first mistake I made was buying resources that were like this thick and it was great because they had a lot of information in them. But the problem was they actually had too much information in them. The information within a lot of the resources that you could potentially buy goes far beyond the scope of the exam. So you end up spending your valuable study sessions studying things that aren't even going to be on your exam. The second thing that I did that I wish I did, didn't do is I bought resources that were very, very good at giving you only the information that you needed, but they didn't actually break that information down into exam objective. I had to kind of look at this chapter and say, okay, they're talking about this. So I guess that's in this exam objective, but then they, in the next sentence, they talk about this and that's in this exam objective over here, I think. I don't know, I'm just guessing. And I guess here's the good news. In my time, I took my favorite parts of all of these different learning resources and I put it into one for the A plus 1101 and 1102. I took the best components out of all of this and created what is, in my opinion, the most most efficient and effective study resource for these exams. For the 1101, I have my learning guide, which is broken down not only into specific exam objectives, but also into specific dot points within each exam objective. So it's super organized and super easy to keep track of what it is you're actually learning about. And for each of these sections, you have comprehensive notes, giving you all the information you need in order to get your head around that for your exam. You also have active recall questions, which will help you gain a deeper understanding of the content. And on top of that, you have open-ended questions with explanations. And then for the areas that you need specific help with, you also have learning activities. Here's what people are saying about my learning guide. Have a look at these comments. They're all pretty positive. On top of that, I also have my five practice exams. Now, these practice exams all give you a simulated exam experience. They all have multiple performance-based questions at the beginning, and you can break them all down by specific exam objective as well. So if you're only doing really bad on the troubleshooting stuff, you can only do the troubleshooting questions. So again, it makes it super easy to, to get your head around only the parts that you need to do so you don't waste your precious study time. On top of that, I have my performance-based questions simulation, which is a cool little clickable uh, thing that you can click on the buttons and solve the problems. And you're not relying on multiple choice answers. You're actually having to solve the issues yourself. And then for the 1102, I have the same learning guide as the 1101, only I took everything that people loved about the first one and essentially put it on steroids. So for the 1102 one, again, it's broken down not only by exam objective, but by by dot point within each exam objective. And for each dot point, you have comprehensive notes, you have active recall questions. And on top of that, you also have practice exam questions with detailed explanations. And then you can take that over to the online quiz database and give yourself a simulated examination experience with the multiple choice questions. And of course, I also have my performance-based questions that you can buy either together as a package or separately. In my opinion, these resources are the best bang for your buck that you can get and the most efficient way to prepare for the A plus 1101 and 1102 exams. So if you want to grab yours, you can head over to journeydecimer.com today, grab them and pass your exam in a couple weeks, as opposed to in six months. How long it takes you is largely up to, yes, the amount of effort you put in, but also the, the resource you're using and whether or not it's going to waste your time or it's going to be an efficient use of your time. And my resources are undoubtedly an efficient use of your time. So journeydecyber.com. I'll see you there. Bye, guys.